Yo, what up YouTube? Welcome back to the city side. If you watched my last video on my Twitch streaming setup, you know that I showed off my layout and the design of my stream, but also my scene transitions. In this video, I'm gonna show you, yeah, you, how you can get some sick transitions for your stream. So before I start, I have to give credit to Nikon Punch and Dreadfully Despised for their previous work and blazing the trail here. Uh, Nikon Punch set up the transition itself to work in OBS and despised that at a program called Auto Hotkey. I built on their work and made it work on the multi-platform version of OBS, but if they hadn't have done it for the original version of OBS, I wouldn't have been able to do this as easily. So thanks to them for help, big thanks. Uh, first thing you're gonna need is a transition video. Uh, I made mine in Adobe After Effects, but if you have any kind of video editor that can render a clip with an alpha channel, uh, or transparency, you should be in the clear. Uh, I just made a simple sliding transition uh, wipe kind of thing, so here's what that looks like, so you have kind of a reference. Okay, so pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, in Nikon Punch's original video, he mentioned that you need to give yourself enough time, the transition needs to be long enough so that while it plays, you can switch the scenes while it's playing. With this method, you don't really need to do that. And once I get to that point, I'm gonna tell you why. So when you render it, I'm gonna go down to the settings here. So open this up. When you render it, make sure that the format is set to QuickTime. And if this isn't defaulted to animation, go into the format options and change the codec to animation. And for channels, set it to RGB plus alpha. And if you have it set to that, as long as you have parts of your transition, like beginning and end, that are completely transparent, there's no, no uh, item that like stays in there for the whole time covering the transparency, then you should have a, a correct uh, video clip that'll work. So once you have that rendered, I'm gonna bring OBS over here, we're gonna get some Inception type stuff going on. Pretty freaking cool. So once you have that video clip rendered, we just need to bring that into OBS. So we're gonna add a source and we're gonna use a media source. And I'm gonna make a new one and I'm just gonna call it CC Transition 2. Check the local file box and then we're gonna browse to the folder that has it, which for me is in a million and one folders uh, right there. So you'll see if I click OK, it plays. So that's really the only way that we can get the transition to actually play. Um, it doesn't do anything after that. So if we go in here and we check loop, and click OK, it'll play, and then it'll play again, and then it'll just keep playing. There's nothing we can do to stop that. So that's not good. We need to uncheck loop, and if I click OK, it's gonna play one more time. All right. Now, if I open it and click OK and switch to my other scene, it just goes away because it's not in this other scene. So let's add it in here also by going uh, add source, let's use existing and use that one. Uh, I'm gonna, these are both the same, so don't worry about what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna add this one in for reasons. <laughs> so I'm gonna add my original one in there and then Again, don't worry about this. I'm just removing the test one I made to show you guys how to add it in the first place. Now I'm just putting that same transition in both scenes. So if I play this and then change scenes, look at that, we changed scenes. So we got it to work, but it's really manual. We have to double click that, uh, click OK to make it play and then wait for the right time to switch scenes and that's not really fun That's gonna be kind of a pain, right? Uh, so that's where my man dreadfully despised came in He dropped a program called auto hotkey into the mix and auto hotkey is basically a program You can script to catch any hotkeys or triggers uh, To then do stuff and then do other things based on those things that did things Anyway so I have a script here that I will link for you in the description below and in a card in the top right when it's uh, when it's ready. Uh, what it does is catch the hotkeys that I set, in this case uh, control and one, two, three, four, five on the numpad on the keyboard, 
Uh, yes, I stole that from Despise. That's his key combo, but it works well. Uh, so basically what it does is catches those hotkeys and then goes into OBS, right clicks on this, hits enter on properties to open this window, waits for it to open, clicks OK to play, and then sends that same hotkey to OBS because I'll show you in my settings, I have hotkeys set right here. So all those are set to uh, switch to scenes and also mute and unmute uh, my mic and the game capture. So the same hotkey is going through auto hotkey and getting passed to OBS. So it makes it super easy. So now with that script, I have that set up for all scenes, by the way. If I, I'm just gonna reload it to make sure that it's ready. And if I use that now to go to my game scene, there we go. So you saw it was really fast. Um, that's why I have, uh, let me bring that up again. Oh, I closed it. How great am I? Um, so anyway, you saw how fast it was, so that's why we don't need to have as much time uh, for the transition, because when it's automated, it can go super fast. We don't really have to, to wait for it. So if you look right here, I had to add this line right here between closing that window and sending the hotkey. And this is in milliseconds, so it had to sleep for 800 milliseconds or pause for 800 milliseconds before sending the scene change hotkey. And I have a couple different ones, like down here is 900 because for some reason that scene takes a little bit longer to come in. So 900, 900. So you can totally customize that for how long it takes um, for the amount of milliseconds. So that's just under a second that takes. Um, so the, the parts that you'll need to change for this, this script are right here. It'll probably be properties four, and then you'll need to change this, the CC transition. That needs to be the name of your layer, your source in OBS, because it's waiting for the window with this title to pop up before it does anything. So you'll need to change that in the three spots that it pops up. And you can also customize uh, the hotkeys that you actually use to press and the ones that you have set like in OBS uh, right here. If you need help setting that up, ask in the comments below and I can try and help you out. Um, it's fairly simple from here on out. Uh, I do have to give shout outs to Again, Nikon Punch and Despised for doing the original work, but also to TLM on the Auto Hotkey IRC chat because the guy helped me out so much getting this thing to work. Um, he was helping my stupid self fix some stupid issues I was having and stupid, stupid, stupid. But anyway, um, that's the transitions and it made my stream look a thousand times better. It's awesome. I love it. I'm happy with it. I think it looks good, and uh, I really wanted to share this with you so you can get your streams looking good also. So if you need any help, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time right here on YouTube with the City Side or over at twitch.tv slash city side where you'll see this live in action on stage with the lights and the camera. No. I'll, ju I'll just see you next time on the City Side. So... Peace.